Shall we begin? Let's begin now. So far it's so good with this badger. Ah, uh, it's been shooting every time. As you know, the first time I got the key off a badger, this one right here, uh, it was not uh, shooting at all. As a matter of fact, it was light to no primer striking. But this one's actually doing its trick. That felt like a little bit better hit. I like that the badger comes with a spot for all of these rounds too. That's pretty convenient. That way you're not fishing around in a box every time you want to reload. So far, so good. Greetings folks, two and proper here, bringing you yet another in my series. And as you can see, and as you have probably deduced, I have become enamored with these breakdown type rifles, with these portable type rifles that you can construct and turn into a bigger functional rifle. These purpose driven rifles, such as this one right here, the Kiapa Little Badger. And I'm pronouncing it right, by the way, because it's uh, Italian, Kiapa. The thing is made in Italy, but it's sold by Chiapa US in uh, Dayton, Ohio. So what I like about this rifle right here is the fact that it does come in this nice little package. I have a habit of talking about packages, but in this case, this is this little rifle here in this little bag. And uh, this is a 17 HMI rifle, and you would not believe it unless I open the package to show you. Unless you've seen these before, of course, which a lot of people have. And here it is. This is the Kiapa Little Badger. This is a single shot break apart rifle. As simple as this, right? You can see what it does. This here is not a very big rifle, as you can see. Now, using my hands as scale, I'm not sure if that helps you, but and it's 3.6 pounds, so it's not very heavy. That would make it very convenient for those backpacking trips when you're carrying your little Kiapa little badger bag or uh, fitting it into some other backpack. So this is definitely a purpose-driven kind of product right here. And it's a single shot, so it is by no means any sort of defense weapon or anything like that. But it's a pretty nicely constructed single shot break apart firearm. And I imagine that its uses would be for uh, survival purposes, for hunting purposes. Because this is 17 HMR and Kiapa also makes it for 22 Magnum and 22 long rifle, I do not imagine that this would be a significant defense rifle. But for shooting small game, rabbits, uh, maybe squirrels, things like that, this would be more than sufficient in accomplishing your tasks. And if you've ever seen 17 HMR, uh, and its effects on small games such as squirrels and stuff like that. It's quite dramatic. Folks, we're talking about velocity when we're talking about 17 HMR. Now, I'll bring out the big three right here. This is 17 HMR right here. 17 HMR Hornady Magnum Rimfire. And this is 22 Magnum right next to it. So as you can see, the 17 HMR is a necked down 22 Magnum. That's exactly what it is. And it's necked down to a 17 grain projectile in this case. 17 caliber, but it's a 17 grain projectile. To give you some idea of scale, for those who are more familiar with 22 long rifle, this is 22 long rifle right next to it, right? As you can see, uh, it's a little bit taller. This is a neck down 22 Magnum. So the effects, though, of the 17 HMR at over 2,600 feet per second are astounding uh, when you consider the fact that it is only a 17 grain projectile. Velocity, folks. The key is velocity with 17 HMR. And let's get a close-up here. 
as you can see it's got somewhat of a polymer front sight and it's not a big deal there in addition to the front of this rifle here this screws off and you can put a flash hider or suppressor or something like that on the front of this I don't know why you would want to this is only a 17 HMR but different people have different reasons for doing things so uh, right here you can see that it's threaded all right kind of cool and this plastic cap right here protects the threads so and the rifle is surrounded by rails here lights lasers and optics so you could put a scope on this you know i might do that i might get a cheap scope to throw on top of this i already have a cheap red dot to put on top of it that i've yet to sight in i'll be doing that it's sights right here it's got a very small reticle and you will be able to tell by the range footage that i'm going to be presenting to you throughout this video or maybe just at the end this reticle here is pretty small but it slides back and forth right so it covers the meters that you're shooting and windage is taken care of here with this knob by turning this back and forth straight out of the factory though the windage on this was great so i'm more than satisfied with the windage my only problem with the reticle is that the hole in it is so small that i may consider drilling it out just a little bit more and i will probably put a little bit of orange paint right here on this front post so that I can see it better. Again, I'm like Mr. Magoo, I can't see crap. I'm like a naked blind mole rat that I can barely see. So uh, I'm gonna have to color this front sight and I'm gonna have to make this hole just a little bit bigger if uh, Kiapa doesn't have any sort of different reticles or anything like that available for it. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. But uh, its purpose and its uses, again, are going to be for uh, hunting small game and certainly for the fun of plinking because this was very fun. I had a good time at the range. And you'll see some of that range footage when I release it. Uh, out of mercy, I cut a lot of the loading of this firearm out for you so that you didn't have to watch me go through the whole thing. Otherwise, the video is going to be like an hour and probably 40 minutes of it would be loading this thing because it's a single shot. So I had mercy on you. But this functions very well. And the build quality, folks, going back into the build quality, this is a very solid steel firearm. I like the build quality. Now, some people were bothered by the fact that there wasn't more of a solid stock back here. I get the thinking behind this because it probably made it lighter. The purpose of this is to be a light firearm. And again, it is only 3.6 pounds. I love the fact that it comes with this holder on the back of it, which holds 12 additional rounds of 17 HMR. And of course it commensurates with the 22 long rifle and the 22 Magnum, but this was a really good touch to have this on here. As a matter of fact, that was one of the attractions for this thing, right? Is the fact that I could also put rounds right here and stick it in the bag. I think that is pretty cool. Very useful. Now the trigger, I'm only going to do the trigger for you one time with this firearm. Just because it's not good to dry fire rim fire weapons uh, without a round or a snap cap in it or anything like that. So I'm going to only do this trigger one time. I'll bring it up close here. And as you can see, this here is the lever for breaking it down, right? Now the hammer, okay, it feels just like any of your other hammer fired weapons, right? And this also has kind of a half cock right there, right? But all the way back. And the trigger is very light, right? So it's a pretty good trigger. Now I'm gonna demonstrate how to load and unload the Kiapa Badger. And uh, I'm gonna do it with a live round. Now. Don't cry, people. I'm not going to pull the hammer back, and I'm not going to pull the trigger. I'm going to simulate the activity, but I am not going to actually do it. So you can save money on your therapy visits. But, all right, so here's the 17 HMR, right? And it goes in here just like this. It's as simple as that, right? And then the rifle closes, as you can see right there. But when you're ready to shoot it, you can pull your hammer back, right? Pull your trigger, round goes off. And then your lever right here again releases this. And as you can see, there's an extractor, right? I'll bring this up close. 
there's an extractor that actually pushes the round out for you so that you can get a good grip on it. There it is, you see? And then you can just pull it out. That simple. Now it's accuracy, I'm more than satisfied with its accuracy, but you would think by looking at the range footage that there was something wrong with its accuracy. That's not the case. There's something wrong with the shooter. The accuracy of this firearm is uh, more than sufficient. I have no reason to believe that this thing wouldn't be accurate. And I would have even more reason to believe that this thing would be scary accurate with a scope on it. So I still might do that. Uh, so it performs well. All of the uh, mechanics of this, they are very solid. You can tell that this is a well-made firearm. Its performance and its accuracy are spot on, especially for its price, right? You can get these things from anywhere between $175 to $236. That's not bad at all. This is a new production rifle, so even better. Uh, ergonomically, this thing is uh, so-so, but this rifle, I hate this phrase, but I'm going to say it. This rifle is what it is, you know, it is a breakdown rifle and uh, I do not believe that it was necessarily manufactured with great like uh, Walther type grip comfort in mind or anything like that. Now for mods, uh, well you know this thing is surrounded by rails, right? I don't think that there's necessarily any dedicated third-party support for uh, modifications or accessories for this thing other than the fact that these rails right here are standard Picatinny rails. You can basically choose one that you want. Uh, none dedicated solely for it other than I believe Kiapa has a grip to put on this little rail section back here which obviously is there for a uh, pistol grip of some sort. So. Kiapa's website will have that available to you. Go ahead and check it out if you're thinking about getting one of these things. And the only other mod that I think I'm going to do with my Kiapa Badger is I'm going to do one of those uh, paracord stock wraps that people are doing. If you look it up on Google or on YouTube or whatever, you can see plenty of people doing paracord wraps for their stocks. It makes it look kind of cool. A lot of them are paracord wrapping around their rail section right here. It sounds like a fun project for my Kiapa Badger. I might just do that. Uh, other than that, I'm not going to do much with this because it's going to be basically folded and uh, kept put away until I need it or until I decide to go planking. And eventually, I am going to do a video that compares the effects on grapefruits and stuff like that, maybe cantaloupes, the effects of the uh, 17 HMR, the 22 long rifle, and the 22 magnum. Because one thing that we do know is that the velocity effects of the 17 HMR projectile going through something like a grapefruit is just jaw dropping. And I can't wait to do that myself. And I will be. And you'll see it here on the Two and Proper channel. And speaking of the Two and Proper channel and the Two and Proper network, pretty soon it's going to be this month, August 2018, I am releasing the Two and Proper network entire. That means Patreon, that means WordPress for the written word of Two and Proper, the blog that I've been keeping on blogger.com. I have dissipated that and I am moving it over to WordPress, as well as again, Patreon. And what's going to go on with Patreon is I'm going to start off with two different reward levels, but there's going to be a variety of different benefits for each of the reward levels. Even just starting with the first tier one, one dollar a month reward level for uh, people they're going to get more than the standard two and proper channel would have offered them just watching my videos on YouTube so you're gonna want to be a part of this and I really hope that you guys will become one of my patrons on patreon because there's gonna be a lot more to be had and uh, your support there on patreon is gonna help me get better things more material and to be able to bring you better content uh, within the two and proper network if you like the way I've been doing things, and I really appreciate that a lot of you do, uh, I look forward to continuing that and doing it much better once Patreon opens up. That's going to be the mothership for the entire network, so look for that to come out. And I appreciate you guys watching all the way up to this point. And this reminds me, speaking of viewers, I want to give a shout out to some of my viewers, some of my most faithful viewers. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Scott Manier, right? Always watching. Hey, Scott. God, I appreciate you. 
Uh, Paul Brown, same for you. Battle Rarity, I appreciate you guys. Oh, I appreciate all of you watching my channel. Uh, like Tap Rat Girl, I want to say thank you, you guys. You guys have been watching my channel the entire time I've had it on here. And I'm so happy about you guys watching my channel as much as you do, being such faithful viewers that tonight, as I'm uploading this video, I'm going to sit down with a plate of chicken livers and watch other YouTube videos. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Sounds good. But folks, this is it. This is the Kiapa Little Badger. And look for the two improper network to be coming out this month. Do become patrons. You'll be glad you did. If you've been liking watching my videos, you will want to become one of my patrons. So I appreciate everybody. And thanks, folks, for watching. I'm Too Improper. My email address is right down here. That's too improper at gmail.com. And if you want to write tattoo cat, that's T-A-T, -T, the number two K-A-T at gmail.com. Either one of us will be happy to answer you, provided you're going to be polite to us about whatever you have to say. And if we have the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America and keep on protecting your family, yourselves, your country, and your country's honor. It's the patriotic thing to do, and you know damn well it is the right thing to do.
Rambo.